Hi, this is Jonathan Clark, Scooter, and I'm here to do a really quick video showing you how to use one of those anti-theft clubs for your truck to keep your truck from being stolen. Uh, I've had a lot of people ask, what's the point of having a club on your steering wheel because that's not going to keep someone from stealing your truck. They can still drive off with it, whatever. Um, it's really hard to do that with a club on. Now, here's a club. Um, there's two different types. This particular one slides in and out when it's unlocked. Some of them will only slide one way. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook this into my steering wheel. Okay, right now anyone could actually squeeze it, take it right off without a key. But if you lock it into place, it won't squeeze any tighter, so you can't get it off the steering wheel. Some of the clubs, they're, they're designed with the lock a little bit different, so that you can always extend them, because extending them is safe. Uh, the only way you can compress them to take them off a the steering wheel is to unlock them. Anyway, either way, it doesn't matter, they both work. Um, the reason why one of these clubs works is because you can't steer. It has nothing to do with the truck, like you could still break the ignition, um, hotwire the truck, basically get it running, but the problem is you can't drive it anywhere very far with one of these clubs on. And the reason why is because you can't turn the steering wheel. Now. I've had people say, well, it doesn't matter because what happens if the, uh, if the club is actually locked into place like, say, this? Because if someone puts it on like this, then you can still move the steering wheel. Well, that's not exactly the case because with modern trucks, to do a right angle turn, which you need to do to go left or right on a city street, you have to spin the, uh, the entire spinning the steering wheel almost two whole revolutions, which most people don't expect. So anyway, even if it's put on improperly like this, they're still not going to be able to steer very well unless they unless you park somewhere where they can drive it straight for a couple hundred miles. Anyway, so these things work. Um, what I usually do, a big part of the uh, theft prevention on one of these clubs is actually the visual deterrence. So I usually like to put it up like that somehow so a potential thief sees the club before they try to steal your truck. They're going to look through say, oh, there's a club on here. Let's steal the truck beside this one that doesn't have a club. So, so visual deterrence is a big thing. Actual physical inability to steer the truck is another big thing. And, uh, and so that's how it works. Uh, the only thing that you can really do to your truck to make it even harder to steal is uh, if you go into the fuse box, there's, there's several fuses that control the starter. And so you could take one of those out every night. So, you know, even if someone had a hacksaw and eventually cut through this club, which takes a little while, um, and then hot wire the truck, they're not going to be able to start the truck because there's no fuse there. They're probably going to be confused why it doesn't start because nobody really thinks about taking out a fuse. But anyway, this is, this is pretty much the number one most effective way and easy way to keep, uh, keep your truck from being stolen. So that's how it works, use it.